My name is Yoshi Livo. I'm 31 years old and I'm Liberlandian. Well, my story is, uh, it started about eight years back. I used to be an auditor in the Netherlands. I make financial statements for companies like McDonald's. I help them to pay as few taxes as possible. And at some point I um, uh, automated their process in a way that my own job got uh, expelled. So I didn't have a job anymore. And at that point I wanted to figure out how money works. And I started to investigate on the internet. And when I found out that all money is a debt, I became very angry with the current system. And I wanted to find a way how it can be done better. So I started to investigate gold and silver. And through that world, I came in contact with Bitcoin in a quite early stage. And um, I've been in many protests. And at some point, I got to hear about Liberland. And three years ago, in 2015, I traveled to Liberland, or I tried to travel to Liberland, and uh, got arrested uh, for being on the soil of Liberland. Uh, spent 10 days in Osiak prison. And um, uh, when I found out that Liberland wasn't accessible to me, I went back to the Netherlands. I started my own initiative called Wonderland between the Netherlands and Germany. Um, but this didn't really work out in the way that I hoped that it would. And when Bitcoin in 2017 uh, spiked to almost $20,000 per Bitcoin, I made contact with Vityat Lichka, president of Liberland, and I apologized for my radical behavior in the past and that I've become more moderate. And Vit then rewarded me with uh, Liberland citizenship. So since last year, I'm Liberland citizen and um, I'm going to use the profit that I made with Bitcoin to um, build a stronger Liberland. What do you want to do with your money in Liberland? How do you want to spread your ideas and make it functional? Uh, Liberland has bought a boat which is currently in Apatin and this boat needs a crew and I'm willing to dedicate my time and effort for free to uh, help people that want to visit Liberland to get information. I want to try to once a week or once a month, I don't know yet exactly, but I want to educate everybody who is interested can, can come to the boat and I want to educate them about blockchain and about uh, new forms of money. Can you tell us more about Liberland? Yes, uh, Liberland is the third smallest country in the world just after Monaco and the Vatican. Uh, it's uh, found in 2015, 13th of April 2015, uh, on uh, the land that we call Liberland, but Croatians refer to it as Siga. Um, so Liberland aims to be the freest country in the world with the least, uh, with the less, most few regulations uh, on the planet. We don't have uh, taxation, we do uh, voluntary taxation. So we believe that people will voluntarily uh, uh, tax themselves in favor of their country because they feel that uh, in a community effort we can achieve more than by ourselves. Uh, but we don't want to have all kind of rules that limit the freedom of the people. And that really appealed to me in a way that I believe that there is way too many restrictions for the average person to have a comfortable life with. I believe that taxation is a form of theft uh, and that it's, uh, it used to be like hundreds of years ago, the, the, the royals taxed people for their own benefit. Uh, in the last hundred years, we got some presents back uh, for the taxes that we paid uh, and this uh, allows the authorities to say now that we need taxation for a comfortable life but I think um, we can manage on our own and we don't need a large government because it will cost us a lot of money and this money we can spend in a better way. Can we live without taxes? I think uh, if you organize yourself in such a way that um, people who uh, 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 
make a donation to the community will have uh, some some status out of it or whatever that there will be people that are gonna do it and uh, that will still be a form of taxation but voluntary and for example when Bitcoin hit 20,000 and I have a lot of it a, lo a lot of money then I'm more than willing to help others in achieving their goals with a little bit of money if I am if I don't have any money then uh, I think it's more than fair to say that uh, I shouldn't have to pay for it you know and uh, uh, I, I think that um, um, regulating it and making it mandatory and threatening people by locking uh, by locking them up for if they don't pay uh, is is a, a way of of the middle ages of the dark ages and we are progressing to a new kind of system which uh, allows us to live in much more free in a much more free way is it possible to break this kind of system that we are living in? By yourself it's impossible. I have tried to live without money and it's very difficult. I live without a bank account for a couple of years and basically in the Netherlands you cannot live without a bank account. Um, but if uh, people gather then everything can be achieved and that's actually one of the things that I want to prove uh, that everything that we want to achieve can be achieved if we want it uh, and if we go for it so um, by ourselves I don't think we can break it but if we gather enough people then in the end uh, we create this system so we can also create something different and I believe it's possible so you want to educate people about these ideas how to make a better system yes well the, the, the thing is uh, the internet is about 20 years old uh, 30 years old sorry um, the Bitcoin protocol is now nine years old and both of these innovations are gonna change the way how we live with each other you can already see it today everybody is looking at their mobile phone and 10 years ago you couldn't think that that was going to become a reality so there are major changes in the world happening right at this moment and this is going to change the way how we are living together uh, it's just a way of, edu and, and people need to be educated on it, I believe, because uh, a lot of people don't know that Bitcoin is out there, for example, although it's now nine years old. So um, uh, the system is already changing. It's not me who is changing it. I just want to uh, tell people about it because I feel that I've been privileged with uh, a good set of brains and... Uh, I want to share my knowledge with others for free uh, because that's just the way how I prefer to be living and fortunately for me I was early enough in Bitcoin to uh, be able to do this now and have the financial freedom to f at least for a couple of years try to make it work. You are talking about Bitcoins and you just mentioned blockchain technology. So can you tell us what is the future of blockchain and is it related to some kind of freedom and democratic society of the future? It's a very difficult question because uh, I don't know what the future will bring. But um, I believe that uh, by, uh, with the innovation of Bitcoin, which is basically giving us the opportunity to transfer value from one part of the globe to another for within a, a couple of seconds for very low cost. Uh, there is need for this innovation because money moves every day and uh, for example today is Saturday if I would send you money today you will not receive it before Monday because your bank is closed. So uh, that's ridiculous because we live in an age where we can chat with each other but we cannot send each other money without this new innovation of blockchain. So I definitely think that uh, the blockchain technology will, uh, will live on. Uh, and and, and um, the thing is, Bitcoin by itself will not have the capacity to uh, uh, provide the entire world with their financial needs because the world is too big and too complicated for one protocol. So what I, what I see as the future is that there will be many uh, uh, 
local currencies. For example, Liberland is going to launch his own token. I am connected with a crypto coin called EFL, which specifically aims for the Netherlands. Um, and I believe that there will be a lot of local economies evolving with Bitcoin uh, blockchain related technology. And um, this new technology gives you some freedom. And the downside of that freedom is that it also gives you responsibility. So I can lose my bank pass, my, my, my card, my debit card from my bank and then call my bank and they will give me a new one. If I lose my bitcoins, nobody is going to reimburse my bitcoins because there is no central party who is regulating it or uh, where you can go to. So um, there are benefits and there are downsides of it and we need to be aware of both of them. Uh, but I definitely think that the technology of blockchain is going to last li like internet, like email and that it will change the way how we uh, live our lives. How come you are here today in Ruski Krestur? I have uh, been invited by the Liberland Rotary. Uh, we are setting up a new rotary uh, which is also using blockchain for example for my payment of the club I can pay with any blockchain uh, related coin um, and we are making I'm, I'm just uh, shaking hands making contact with locals and uh, understand their uh, life better uh, to uh, be able to in the future uh, right now I am a tourist in Serbia so I, I, I am uh, enjoying uh, uh, whatever that I, you know, I'm, I'm on vacation I'm not doing I'm not having a job here but um, I, in the future I want to uh, have some business and I need to know what the people here need so that's why I uh, go to places like this and shake hands and and just hear the story of people what they are doing in their lives can you tell us more about the boat in Apatin when shall you open the boat and when can people come to visit it to get informed about Liberland? In Apatin we now have a boat called Bitcoin Freedom. Uh, it arrived about four days ago, so it's a very fresh story. Uh, this uh, boat used to be called Zeppelin, it was a party boat in Novi Sad, so maybe some Serbians have already been on it. Uh, we are going to improve the boat with new furniture, better decoration, we're gonna renew the outside because it's a bit rust bit rusty and I think within two months we can have guests on this boat and I aim to live on this boat and uh, and welcome everybody that wants to know more about uh, Liberland. Is that boat some kind of unofficial embassy of Liberland in Serbia? Well, we have an official embassy in, in Serbia that's in Belgrade. You can visit this there, it's just across the parliament of Serbia. Um, we have more, over uh, 100 representative offices all over the world at this moment. Uh, and this boat will be the representative office, the closest one to Liberland. And for example, if you want to visit Liberland today, we strongly advise against it because of the Croatian uh, authorities and their way of dealing with us. Um, but of course you can have a boat trip because the, it's international water. So we leave from Apatin, uh, we have uh, more than one boat. And uh, in April this year, we actually had a trip with 180 people uh, at the same time. Uh, so we, we can handle some bigger groups uh, and we can show you Liberland where it's located and uh, what we uh, hope to settle on once. But uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be a representative office. Let's, yeah. Did you have any problems with Serbian authorities? So far I don't know of any problems with Serbian authorities. Within two weeks after the existence of Liberland, Serbia made an official statement that uh, the new country uh, located on the uh, Danube river bank was not Serbia. So they made uh, very clear that they are not seeing us take as, as if we are taking their land or uh, anything like that. Uh, I believe that the only reason 
why Liberland still has some future is because of the friendly uh, way of how uh, Serbian authorities treat us. Um, because if Serbia would have the same stance on Liberland as Croatia, it would have been impossible for us, to, for example, to have this boat in Apatin. And uh, they could really make our uh, project fail if they wanted to, I, I believe. But they don't. And uh, I'm very grateful to Serbia that they are seeing that Liberland doesn't have to be a threat, but can also be an opportunity for their country because um, well, Liberland is attracting people like me. Uh, who uh, um, made some money on Bitcoin, for example. I'm, I'm, I'm spending more money than the average Serb and, and yes, I, I would like you to benefit. Yeah, we bought a boat and, uh, you know, I, I don't want to... For me, I would like to see a world without money. That's my long-term goal in 200 years, to be able to live together without any money. Uh, but unfortunately, today, we, that's not uh, the reality, but um, Liberland attracts a lot of people with money and I think that uh, Serbia can really benefit from that inflow of capital. So if they play it right, then they can be uh, benefit, it can be a benefit for, for them and I think they know that. And what about if Serbia becomes the European Union member? Are there going to be some changes in Liberland? For sure. But it's not that it's not like that yet, and the EU would like it, and maybe the politicians in Serbia would like it. But I, do, I wouldn't. I don't like to uh, make a political comment like that. I, I prefer. I I try to stay as apolitical as possible because for me it's a, it's a vision and a dream, and you know I I don't want. To, uh, to be involved with politics so much. I just like to spread my vision of money. And uh, I believe that the current money system is a way of uh, slave trading and, and, and highly immoral. And uh, that's, that's my part of the project, to, to, to educate people on, on why I actually want Liberland, you know. Do you think that Bitcoin and other virtual currencies are going to replace the actual money as it exists today? I, d I don't know about that. That's also a, a question which is difficult to answer. I, I believe that, I think that governments will always have their own currency. Um, different currencies serve different purposes. D different currencies serve different purposes. So um, uh, for a government, this fiat money is perfect for their purpose. And that's why they will not just get rid of it. And we, it's mandatory for the citizens to pay taxes in that currency. So it will stay like that for some time. But I, I do think that uh, on a voluntary basis, we can move a lot of our economy to a different uh, currency. So that's how I did it. I, I moved as much of my uh, economy voluntarily to Bitcoin. And in that way, I believe that uh, crypto coins will take a bigger and bigger portion of the economy into their economy. Many people from Serbia are currently excited about bitcoins and mining of bitcoins. Is it still profitable? In Serbia it is. Uh, it, 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 it highly depends on where you have your mining equipment. And if you, for example, are in South Korea, you are losing money on mining Bitcoin because your electricity bill will be higher than your uh, uh, reward. But in Serbia, it's, it's, it's profitable because the electricity cost is just a lot lower than the, 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 the other countries. So um, for me, uh, I don't mine Bitcoin myself. I'm a trader, so I, 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 I trade different currencies on the market and this is how I make my profit. Um, I think if you mine crypto coins, you shouldn't want to make a profit at the moment that you mine it. You mine it with, with, with excess money you put in, that's your investment, and then you wait until a moment where the coin will rise and that's when you make the profit and then you sell it. So um, in, I, I have looked at a graph yesterday and I, I believe that uh, mining one Bitcoin in Serbia will cost you around 
$3,000. And at the moment, the price of one Bitcoin is about seven and a half thousand. So you will make money in Serbia. How many people have citizenship of Liberland? Uh, there are 500,000 uh, registered accounts on the webpage of Liberland.org. Out of these 500,000 accounts, 150,000 are eligible for uh, uh, citizenship. Out of these 150,000 uh, eligible people, there are now 500 people who have citizenship. And out of these 500 people, there are 100 people with a passport. How can anyone get citizenship of Liberland? Uh, getting citizenship of Liberland is actually very simple. Uh, you need uh, to have three things. You cannot be, um, you cannot have uh, radical political ideas uh, in terms of Nazism or uh, 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 communism. You cannot be, rad cannot have radical ideas about uh, uh, religion. And you cannot have a, uh, a criminal record. If you, do, if you don't have one of these three, if you basically can accept that other people will have different ideas than yours, uh, then all you need after that is 5,000 uh, Liberland merits. And these merits you can earn. For example, I uh, earned my citizenship without paying money. Uh, but if you want to, uh, if you have the money, then you can buy 5,000 merits for the sum of $5,000. And at that point, you will be a liberal and citizen. What can you tell us about your organization? What are you planning with your future ideas with Liberland and these ideas you have just mentioned in this conversation? So to conclude, I think I can say that uh, when I started Bitcoin eight years ago, a lot of people laughed at me for thinking that I could change the way how money works. And when I present myself as Liberlandian today, I will get the same kind of laughter and people say, ah, it's a joke and I'm not taking this any, anything serious. But uh, we will not leave. We keep on going and slowly but surely we will prove that our ideas have some valid points. Uh, so um, try to be open to new ideas is uh, what I want to give everybody. Um, and well, we, we, time will tell what, what uh, the future will bring. I cannot, I don't know if Liberland will ever be a country where people can live, but uh, we will definitely use uh, uh, the platform to spread our ideas. And for me, Liberland is a mindset and I'm already there. You know, I don't need the soil. But uh, um, so how will it develop? I don't know, but we will continue. We will not just uh, go away and um, you don't, I always say we are not bad people, we are not uh, trying to break any law. We got this country in a legitimate way. Every country in the world has been found once. So uh, we, we have been founded in the same way that every other country has been found. Actually, there are countries that have had bloody revolutions before they became country and we are not going to fight over this. We are going to talk and with common sense, people at some point will accept that we have the right to live on our Liberland. Thank you for this conversation. Thank you for your time.